so I'm gonna go ahead and try out this little camp shower thing that I've had for I don't know six months and kind of forgot about it I bought it in the winter time and I did not want to try to take a camp shower in the winter and it is warm already I just filled this thing up it holds five gallons and I probably don't have five gallons of water in there uh, there is actually some air I can feel when I push I don't know if that's gonna cause a problem or not it is kind of late in the afternoon I don't know if this thing's gonna suck up enough heat to make it bearable uh, it's just like a little plastic bag it's black on the top and clear on the bottom it has a little a little valve here or a stop I guess it would be called and you hook the little hose up to it and it has a little makeshift shower head thing I uh, heard a lot of bad stuff about these things and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try it I guess it's hot right there where there's no water touching so maybe I need to burp that yeah I'm gonna go ahead and burp it out Okay, so I got most of the air out. I still think there's some in there. And it feels a lot cooler now. The sun is kind of beating down, but you can kind of see it's sort of a partly cloudy day, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this thing's going to warm up enough. Had I thought about this earlier, I'd have put it out this morning. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to check back in a little bit and see what happens. Well, this is a nozzle that's supposed to be the shower head. Uh, how they have it packed, it's folded up and it's kinked. So I'm kind of setting it out here in the sun to see if I can... Maybe it'll warm up and not be so crappy. And I'm sure that's going to restrict a lot of flow. That's kind of one of the big things I've heard about this. Is there is no flow, there's no pressure. So you kind of have to use like camp soap that doesn't really lather a whole lot. Maybe I'll set it over here on the black thing. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Don't look like it's going to, but uh, yeah, and it comes with a little piece of nylon string here that's got a hook tied haphazardly on the end. And it's got this little piece of plastic PVC that you slide in the handle. I think you can see it there on the clear side so you can pick it up. Uh, so I don't rip the bag I suppose it still feels cool uh, I don't really know if it's gotten any warmer or not I don't have a thermometer I wish I had a thermometer to yeah I guess it does feel a little bit warmer sort of I don't know it takes a lot of BTUs to heat water so I guess we'll see when we see so the little shower head thingamajigger wasn't really straightening out like I wanted it to. Laying in the sun it kept going back into its folded up position. And I don't know, there might be a hole there. Uh, kind of crappy. Crappy design. So I ended up tying a rope to it and putting it up on a hook and <laughs> used their stupid line that they sent and I tied a rock to it. Yeah, the rock's kind of just hanging here. And I'm hoping that if it's in the sun enough, being stretched out like this, that maybe it'll straighten out and not be so crappy. Uh, that's just a square knot up there. Uh, I do no knots. So, <laughs> do no knot. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. That's something funny. Anyway, the sun is very hit and miss, but if it don't work today, uh, it's supposed to be sunny again tomorrow, so maybe I'll leave this thing hang here overnight. If it don't work today. I don't know, if, if it gets hot enough today to take a shower, then I will. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right here with a big old rock. So I've got my warm-ish water hung up here in the RV from a little hook. Yeah. I think it's supposed to hold this, which is probably around 40, 40 pounds maybe. Uh, it's warm-ish, and whatever, it's going to work for a shower. But, fun thing, I'm going to have to sit on the toilet to <laughs> use this, or lay on the floor to use this. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a try and let y'all know what happens. Well, 
I gotta say, after using this thing in here, uh, in the right conditions, it's pretty fucking awesome. I mean, holy shit, I was absolutely surprised on how well this thing worked. Other than the crappy hose, this dirt bag hose is shit. Uh, the nozzle ain't bad, it's just that. When you pick it up to wash yourself, oh look, it's a kink, and there's another kink, and then oh my god. So, that is stupid. Uh, terrible design. Uh, you know what, I, I like this thing so much, I think I will just buy a new piece of hose and not frickin' fold it like these Chinese douchebags did, or whoever whoever these people are. Let me see if I can turn this thing on one-handed. Uh, it is kind of a, you have to kind of, there we go. See how that's running? I mean, that's kind of nice. It really is. Uh, yeah, this thing, <laughs> And the water was not as cold as I thought. Actually, it still feels warm touching it. And that was a very, very nice shower. Not refreshingly cold like I thought it would be. I really hate this hose. Thanks, Walmart. Dirt bags. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, camp shower. I think this is from Ozark Trail. Yeah, and it was probably around dirt cheap because those dark trails sell cheap shit but it worked and I was really happy with it some modifications could be made and will be made and uh, yeah oh by the way I ended up picking it up higher and not using the rope on this little hook because unless I want to curl up on the floor <laughs> to to be able to wash myself which is still crazy low uh, yeah, that was that was kind of neat. Well, folks, I can tell you this: uh, I'm sold, and I hear a chicken. Yes, because my chickens will not stay in their damn pen. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely sold on this thing. Uh, much more surprised on the fact that it did heat up as fast as it could have. Or, well, as fast as it did. Uh, yeah, I didn't need the whole five gallon thing. But, single guy. So, I don't know. Go ahead and, this valve is really stupid here. I hate the valve. And I hate the hose. There it goes. I think. There we go. We got water coming out there. Gonna go ahead and drain it out now and uh, let it do its thing. And there you can see the, the strength when there aren't any <laughs> kinks in this stupid crappy line. Well, some kinks. Yeah, but for the most part, there's a, there's a nice stream that is more than enough to wash by. Uh, yeah, really happy that I'm doing this to kind of let some air in there. Yeah, more than happy with this thing. And now, of course, in the winter time, that would be a absolutely different scenario. And I would not want to use this, but, yeah, gotta say, you know, summertime or a nice sunny day, spring, summer, early fall. Uh, in this area, pretty good. Pretty nice. <laughs> and, yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, I'm not being paid for this. This is not a commercial. I really don't care. That was creepy. <laughs> I really don't care if you buy this thing or not. And I'm not selling it, but... Anyway, you know, if you get one of these, just look for crappy hoses. Get your own hose, probably. And, uh, you know, if you get a, a cheap shower, you're going to have a cheap shower. If you get an expensive shower, you'll have an expensive shower. That all depends on what you want. But uh, I am 
pretty happy with this thing. All right, folks. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.